Hi, in this video, we will show you the new automatic path planning functionality Robo Studio and how it can help you to reduce cycle time and energy consumption. You all know how hard and difficult it is to find and create a path, especially in a tight and clouded automation cell. You all know how much time we spend on trying different solutions, different configurations to find any robot program or any robot path. But the path that you get, are you really sure that it's the best one? Are you really sure that it's the optimal one? Instead, why not let RoboStudio and the new automatic path planning feature that we've introduced help you with that? And I will soon demonstrate how easy and how powerful and we're just using a few clicks, you can get this optimal path. And the cool thing with our new automatic path planning feature is it, that it's so easy. You don't really have to be an expert to create this perfect path. You just select the start and end goal, and we will create the optimal path for you. Secondly, the path that is generated is smooth, it's singularity free, and highly time efficient, resulting in a significant reduction of the cycle time. And with this time optimal path, we will also get a reduction of the energy consumption. So let me demonstrate how easy and how powerful it is to create a path with our new automatic path planning feature in RoboStudio. So I just prepared a, a simple cell. Uh, it's a pick and place cell where the robot will go down, uh, pick a part and drop it. And I have a pre-made program uh, that we will use as a benchmark and we will compare the cycle time and we will compare the energy consumption with this original program. So looking in the screen now, I have this program, I have that loaded, so I will just uh, activate this one and run it in the controller. So I just press play and you can see the robot starts moving and it moves a little bit back and forth and we run, ends up with a cycle time bar around 5.2 seconds. And right now we just tell the sequence how to do what the robot should do. So I just start open up the functionality and selecting the sequence of what the robot should do. So it should go from the home position, it should go to the pick, it should go to the drop, and then home again. And I will use the same speed so we can compare with the previous result or the, the original one and I just press create. And now we'll start calculating and creating the optimal path for you. So in order to compare, I will just push this down to the controller and run it. And remember we had this 5.2 seconds at the original one. And now I use the new one that we just created and the robot starts move and you can see how much smoother the robot acts. And that ends up with 2.8 seconds. So comparing those two, it's about cutting the cycle time by half, almost by 50%. The next thing I also want to show is to compare uh, the energy consumption. So I will now use then the signal analyzer that we have inside RoboStudio where we actually can compare the different energy consumption and measure it. And I will start by using the original program that we have, and I will just run it and we can observe how much energy the original path is using. So the robot moves, ending up around 8,500 watts. Now I'll compare this with the new path. So I just activate this one. I will run the program again. RoboStudio will run it, resulting in 7,600 watts. So in this particular case, we almost reduced the energy by 10 to 50 percentage. So we reduced the cycle time by 50 and the energy by 10 to 50 percent. 